Hey there folks, it's Antar, and today I am bringing you an RU match against XXDocs26XX, who I met through the Magnitude Zat. Oh hey, so if anyone knows what's going on with the various Zats, please post a comment, uh, because I'm just, like, oh, they're all dead, and I want to find places to battle people that isn't, you know, Smogon. Yeah, so, down to the battle. Uh, gonna go ahead and, as he lit off, he let off a Drapion, and I'm gonna go ahead and Volt Switch out. I'm not actually sure why my opponent Volt sw uh, switched out Drapion, because it walled me pretty well, but whatever, it works for me. Uh, I get an unfortunate crit against his Entei, and that crit totally mattered. It uh, doesn't kill his Entei, but does get it down to the range where an Aqua Jet would have killed it. My opponent very wisely switches into his Rotom Cut form. Uh, which, it's a bulkier set than mine, and mine is a scarf set, so uh, I'm gonna get burned here, and I go for the poison jab, it's not gonna do anything thanks to the fact that I'm burned, even though it is super effective and stab, um, but I do get the poison hacks. Now here's the thing, poison hacks actually kind of hurts me uh, in this game, because I, now I can't toxic it, and that is going to mean that's not gonna take as much residual damage as I would like, Especially considering it's probably one of those annoying pain split sets, and you know, it's got the leftover, it's gonna be really hard to kill, blah blah blah. So his Rotom goes ahead and will o wisps me as I go for the heal belt just to get rid of all those burns, and that is going to be quite nice. And I'm pretty sure that I completely wall this Rotom. I mean, it's got the discharge, but the worst that thing can do is paralyze me, and then we're in for some para hacks. But I can just, you know, heal bell it off. Um, I do, I guess, have to be careful in general that I don't, you know, heal bell only has 8 PP, but I've never run out of PP with heal bell, at least not in my in my memory. I think I might have in Gen 4 once. But anyway, yeah, now uh, my opponent shows me that his Rotom has Pain Split, which is gonna do a hell of a lot to maybe because it is an Audino running max HP. Uh, his Rotom is back up to full health, and so I'm really going to have to be cautious here about what I'm going to do against this Rotom. Um, my opponent actually decides to switch out Rotom at this point and send in Claydol as I switch out my maybe and send in George III. So this is actually quite, quite excellent for me, um, as I'm going to be able to go for the Scald. He misses the Toxic, which is rather unfortunate, but all that would have done, I mean, I would have brought back maybe, brought back in maybe, gone for the heal bell, it would have all been good. My opponent's going to go ahead and set up uh, his first layer of entry hazards, which is Stealth Rocks. I go for another Scald. I'm not getting the burn, but, you know, I, I mean, it would be residual damage, but I'm not really thinking it's that big of a deal. My opponent switches out into Rotom, and I'm thinking that I really don't have much to fear from this Rotom because it doesn't look like it uh, runs the Leaf Storm. Uh, I'm not sure why it wouldn't run the Leaf Storm. I guess you don't want the Spadef Drop, but, I mean, maybe it does. I just haven't seen it yet. He goes for the Discharge, but I am specially defensive, and so I'm going to be able to, to take that like it was nothing and go for the Fire Blast. It connects, and while it doesn't KO because this is a rather bulky Rotom, it is going to KO after Poison Damage. So I guess that Poison Hacks really did help me in this battle, but whatever. He's down, that's excellent, out's gonna come Raichu, and I am fearing this Raichu, so I'm gonna go ahead and send out Gargon, my uh, Tangela, as my opponent's Raichu goes for the Nasty Pod, and when he goes for the Nasty Pod, I'm, I'm like, crap, that thing is fast as anything, I don't have anyone who really has priority, well, I mean, I, I mean, other than Aqua Jet, um, yeah, so Hidden Power, probably Fire, takes me out in one hit, maybe it's Ice, I don't know. Uh, out comes Hatterack, and I'm thinking the worst he can do to me is Focus Blast, and Focus Blast tends to miss. So that's excellent, I can go for the Dragon Tail, and get him out, get rid of his boosts, and that is excellent. So out's gonna come Claydol, and I'm gonna fear the Earth Power, and I'm going to switch out. So I'm gonna go ahead and send out maybe, because I'm thinking that this guy's a special attacker, and maybe can sponge all those hits. Yeah, so here comes the Earth Power, does absolutely nothing to my Audino, and I am going to be able to uh, Toxic this Clay Doll on the next turn, and that, oh, well he Toxics me actually, and I'm pretty sure I Toxic him too, so we trade Toxics, but I have the Heal Belt, he does not. Uh, yeah, I've just, it's really not a good idea to be running a Stolly team without a Cleric. Uh, my opponent's not running a Stolly team actually, It's running. he's running actually a pretty offensive team, but yeah, so anyway, out's going to come this Zangoose, and I'm actually not sure what this Zangoose is going to do, um, but I'm figuring that whatever it is, I'm not going to like it. Uh, I'm thinking 
so I'm going to go ahead and call back, send out Tuesday, predicting actually the close combat. I'm going to get off the Intimidate, and indeed my opponent does go for the close combat, and that's going to be excellent because it's not going to do anything to me since I resist it, and I got off the Intimidate. And even though the switch is going to be obvious here, I think I am going to go for the Aqua Jet or the Waterfall, one of the two. Uh, my opponent's going to send out Entate basically just for Death Fodder. Um, <clears throat> I really wish I'd predicted that and set up a layer of spikes or something, but whatever. You can't predict everything. Out's gonna come right to you. And I'm fearing here, but I'm gonna stay in because I don't really have any... I don't want to let him get off a free nasty plot. Uh, Thunderbolt is gonna take me out, and only later do I realize how much of a bad move that it was. So Out's gonna come Tachikoma, and I'm not sure what he's carrying. Uh, I, well, I think it's Hidden Power Fire, so that would actually be really devastating to me. Um, but... I'm going to stay in, go f I think well, I'm on faster because I've got the Scarf. So I go ahead and go for the um, Leaf Storm, it's going to take out his Clay Doll, and out comes Drapion, and then I realize, crap, it's going to really, really hurt me that my um, Quillfish is down, because that's my only Poison type, and Drapion is a great Toxic Spike setter upper. And so this is just really not going to be good for me, because I have no way to get rid of those Toxic Spikes, and, you know, Poison is something that's really, really bad to have against your... Um, stall team. So yeah, I'm going to go for the Earthquake here just to try to get a lot of damage off. I actually do a fair, fairly good job. Drapion carries the Whirlwind, uh, switches me out. I luckily get switched out into Tachikoma, which I really couldn't have hoped for anyone else. <coughs> here I'm thinking this is just a strictly utility set, and therefore I can go for the trick, thinking that he'll lock himself into Whirlwind. Um, instead, he goes for the Crunch, and I'm like, no, this is just so bad. Because now I've got the Black Sludge, that's going to hurt me. I switch out rather than uh, doing a switch, uh, another switch. Um, my opponent's going to go for the crunch, uh, but you know I'm physically defensive. He gets a crit. It actually does a whole, whole lot, thanks to the fact that his Drapion has Sniper, which means that crits do three times as much rather than two times as much. He actually gets two crits in a row, and also he got the um, defense drop the first turn, so Hatterax HP is down to basically nothing. And I'm just gotta hope that he's not gonna get a third crit in a row, that would just be so awful. Another crunch is not gonna get a crit, and I am gonna manage to take out this Drapion on the next turn with another Earthquake. I get a crit this turn, but it, well, what a useless crit it was. But his Drapion is dead, unfortunately it did its job, set up two layers of Toxic Spikes, and now I'm really gonna have to be on my toes. His Raichu goes for the Hidden Power, and I'm hoping it's not gonna be enough to take out my Hatterack, but I'm not sure. Apparently this was Hidden Power Ice and not Hidden Power Fire, because it does not take me out, it's not super effective, and I'm able to take out that Raichu. I think he said later that he just didn't want his Focus Blast to miss, his, missed, and I think he thought he might have been Hidden Power Fire. Um, maybe he'll watch this and maybe he'll tell me. Anyway, I leave in Steelix to die, um, just to see. I'm pretty sure that Sky is a, um, either Scarfed or a Banded set, and I just want to see what he was going to lock himself into. I actually send out Tachikoma here, not thinking that I would outspeed. Um, but just wanting him to lower his defenses one more round, um, because I'm just not sure how else I'm going to kill this thing. So out's going to come George the Third, and I'm thinking that after three close combats, I'm pretty sure I can survive a close combat to start with, but uh, after three close combats, I think that a skull is going to be able to one-hit KO the Zangus. I mean, I don't think Zangus has the best of um, health anyway, but I just didn't want to risk it. Uh, Scald is going to hit, and I am going to take out that Zangus, and that is going to be the game. So, great, great game. Uh, hope you folks enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and of course, challenge!